Hi, welcome to Storytime with Miss Rachel. Do you like to dance? Dancing can be a lot of fun. Have you ever lost anything? It can be very frustrating if you've lost something. Maybe a favorite toy or a favorite pair of socks. Today we're gonna to read a story about a little elephant who's lost something. Let's find out. Elephant Emma Lou, I've lost my pretty tutu. Ah! Came a scream from the bedroom of Elephant Emma Lou, for it was time for her recital, and she had lost her pretty tutu. Emma's desperate plea. I can't find my pretty tutu. Could someone please help me? Emma, when did you last wear it? Asked her mother with despair. I asked you to hang it in your closet. Are you sure you looked in there? Emma raced to her closet and quickly opened the door. Everything but a tutu fell out and nearly knocked her to the floor. Emma was really worried, for now she had nothing to wear. Maybe it's under my bed, she thought. Maybe I should look under there. As Emma pulled back her covers, she looked under her bed. Her tutu wasn't there either. She only saw a huge mess instead. Wait, my rug, what's that great big hump? But as Emma lifted the rug, the hump began to jump. came a loud screech as Emma's cat darted out like a jet. It wasn't her tutu at all. And Emma began to really fret. It's nowhere to be found, mother. I guess I won't be able to dance. I need to tell Miss Linda, my teacher, so she can give someone else a chance. Emma, I've tried to tell you how important it is to keep up with your stuff. You're always losing something and you are more than old enough. You are responsible for your tutu as well as your other things too. Now let's hurry to Miss Linda's studio. Maybe she'll know what to do. As they arrived at Miss Linda's studio, her beloved teacher stood at the door. I've been expecting you, darling Emma. Last class, you left something on the floor. Miss Linda took Emma by the hand as they walked to the dressing room. Do not worry, little Emma. You will dance. Try not to look so gloom. For there on her hook hung shining like a bright ray of a pink light was little Emma's beautiful tutu ready for her recital tonight. There it is. Sometimes when students leave dance class, they get in a big hurry. They will leave their tutu among other things as they scatter out of here in a hurry. Emma hugged her lovely teacher harder than she had ever before. 
because she would get to dance in her recital and there was nothing she loved to do more. Emma Lou was proud to show her mother that her tutu had indeed been found. In the future, I will be more responsible, said Emma. I won't leave my things lying around. It has been a good lesson for you, Emma, said mother with a tight squeeze. Now, before we get ready to go home, could you help me find my keys? Do you see mama's keys? <laughs> the end. Poor Emma, she was so worried about losing her tutu and the whole time it was at the dance studio. <laughs> it's important to be responsible for our things and to put things away where they belong so that we don't lose them. Do you have a place to make sure you keep your stuff safe and sound? Do you have a special place where you keep your special stuff? It's important to make sure we keep up with our things, right? Today, we are going to make an elephant with our hand print. All right, so for this craft, you're going to need some paper and some paint and a dark crayon or a dark marker. You may want something like a cotton ball or a paintbrush to help get the paint on your hand, okay? So you're gonna start and you're gonna put paint all over your hand, all over your fingers, this part, this called the palm of your hand, right, and all over your fingers. Then you're going to take your hand and you're going to put it on your paper. And your four fingers are the legs of the elephant and your thumb is the elephant's trunk, right? So you need to decide, is my elephant's trunk going to be way down or am I, is it going to be up high? Is it going to be you raising his trunk up in the air? Or is it going to be down low? I decided to put mine down low, okay? All right, so after you get your paint on, um, and you may have to, I had to fill in right here and in the palm and some of my fingers. I had to fill in with some more paint. So that's when you might need um, like a cotton ball or a paintbrush or even your finger if your parents say that it's okay that you can just paint with your finger when you've already got paint on your hand. All right, and next you're going to need your marker and we're gonna put a face on the elephant so what happened to my book okay so we're gonna just make an elephant ear kind of like that okay a big elephant ear okay and we'll give our elephant an eye And let's give him a smile. Aw, it's a happy elephant, right? Now, if you noticed in this book, you see on top of Emma's nose, these little lines. Well, we're gonna put those little lines on top of the trunk. One, two, three, I'm gonna put four. Can you see them there, the little lines on the trunk? Also, if you notice, Emma has toenails on her feet. So let's put some toes. I'm going to do three and I'm just going to do three little humps. Can you see? There we go. See the three little humps? Now we're missing something. Do you know what it is? What is our elephant missing? A tail. So let's put a tail. Whoop. And little elephants have little hairy tails. Let's give it a little tail. And look, and now you've made an elephant. 
My elephant has really long legs, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't that fun? That's a fun thing to do with your hand, your hand print, to make an elephant. Who knew that you could do that? It's so much fun. I just love this little book. Poor Emma. She learns a hard lesson that you have to keep up with your stuff, right? And we need to make sure we keep up with our stuff too. Even mamas, we lose our keys sometimes. <laughs> Thank you for joining me in the library today. I hope you enjoyed today's book. Don't forget to show me the things that you've done. I'll see you next time.